my name is Mr. Teddy Feria, Principal of Sogere National School of Excellence. And so we would like to take this time to thank the uh, uh, Prime Minister for the initiative and these students who are going for this uh, program are going to uh, USA for the program that they nominated to complete after four years. They are so fortunate because this is just only once in a lifetime experience of their part. And also uh, the parents too, thank you for supporting the program. Okay. Yeah, I would like also to take this time to thank the Secretary of the Department of Education, uh, Dr. Compra, for the uh, uh, continued support with the program together with our division, the General Education Services Division, headed by the first assistant, assistant secretary, Mrs. Uh, Joyce Tepu, uh, with his team, uh, Mr. Rayapan, Mr. Karembo, for uh, their uh, support and hard work to make it sure that this uh, program will continue. And uh, to all our scholars, so you have to make it sure that. Uh, you're going to complete your program so that at least when you come back to after completing program please um, you have to help our country for whatever learnings that take place during your studies so that's it you have to make it sure that uh, at least uh, help our country to uh, develop on the field of specialization that you have completed thank you i'm principal Poaira. Uh, uh, i really appreciate my students going to US. It's a very golden opportunity for students to excel in, especially in field of science, because uh, in PNC we need uh, a lot of technical expertise in the field of science. So I'm a proud principal because uh, we have been. The government is uh, have a good vision and a plan for this country to give priority to our STEM students to take opposite studies abroad and they are going to one of the uh, most prestigious presti 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 uh, universities in the in the in US which is South Dakota so thank you for the government of the day and we are the, we are very proud here as the hardworking principals anything else you want to say um, uh, government is really supportive and uh, it's a brilliant uh, effort by the current Prime Minister and the Education Department so thank you very much for it and uh, it's a way for it for this country. As a principal I'm so proud of uh, our students uh, because of the, the new curriculum that has been uh, introduced uh, we could be able to see our students are coming out from the more like a cage and as they are given and give, uh, given this opportunity and opportunity they, they we see that they can be able to uh, go through the challenges and they can be able to come out from there and uh, as soon as uh, from the report we have uh, we have seen that uh, 43 students that went overseas they're doing well. They're doing well, and the, the current about uh, uh, 76 of them that's going to be going. Going, I think um, it's perfect the way I believe that they'll be doing better there. And uh, probably the previous system that we have, which is not bad, but it's uh, um, not given much of the opportunity uh, for the students to go out and explore and. And so it's more like the programs that they we're having at the university so forth, it's more like kind of a self-oriented. But it's with the new curriculum and new uh, uh, STEM, it's more like exploring into what they have. They can be able to, uh, they can be able to cultivate, they can be able to uh, think innovative, think uh, creative, and they can be able to produce and they can be able to do something better. And with the opportunity that's given, I think I believe that our students can be able to do better. They can be competitive from the result that they saw it, I think. And they are doing well, so we are proud. And uh, uh, our, go our students, current students going, and it will be the next future year to come. Maybe it's more be going, and our country is definitely going to change. And we are so proud of the part of the changes and that's happening here. We are happy to be contributing to the new uh, 
curriculum that we are embracing. I would like to thank, take this time to thank Dr. Clement Weiner, our very own uh, <coughs> scientist who had actually worked around tirelessly around the clock to uh, compress all this. We're uh, looking at six subjects that's uh, STEM mathematics, STEM physics, STEM chemistry, STEM biology, uh, STEM ICT, then STEM engineering. The seven subjects altogether, uh, Dr. Wane can, you know, meticulously pull the doctors from our own universities to come up with this curriculum. And as a pioneering principle into this, uh, I'm really happy that I have, uh, with my five other colleagues, we have actually tried out. Yes, there were there are critics that are critiquing us, they are telling us that we are using our students as guinea pigs. But now, thank you that our first 43 students went and they are doing extremely well in the U.S. And now we are sending the, the other 30 to India already. Now we are sending 76, and the other 50 or so plus will go to China in September. So we are proving our critics wrong in implementing this curriculum. That we are thankful to the government also, uh, Honorable James Marape, his brainchild as he was an uh, education minister back in 2008, uh, conceived this plan in uh, Wabek when the NEC was meeting there. And now it has come to a reality. And on behalf of my uh, five other colleagues, we are privileged to be in this position at this time to uh, implement this uh, new curriculum. When we started off, uh, many of our students were having doubts to mind. Like, I see some of my students here, they wanted to uh, withdraw from STEM and go back to normal science. So we I sort of lined them up and I said, you leave STEM, you are, I'm going to give you transfer card and get out of my school. So they stayed on, and they didn't want to be moved out, so they took the challenge. And now they are thanking me, saying, thank you, Mr. You made us stay on, and now we are going to US. So that's, this group of boys are here, whom I made them to sit outside in the rain because they wanted to leave STEM and go back to do normal science. And now they are here going to US and they are thanking me and said, thank you, Mr. You made us, forced us to take STEM and now we are going to US. So that's uh, something that I'm really proud of. So with that, uh, thank you for the time. Um, yeah, I'm proud, proud of our uh, students traveling to USA. Um, yeah, STEM curriculum is good and we are thankful uh, to the Prime Minister for, and uh, the Minister for getting the STEM uh, on board. Yeah. Thank you. So how many students from uh, POMNET are uh, going to USA? Uh, 21. 21 of our POMNET students are going to USA. It is the, it is the biggest now? It's the biggest. Of all the yeah. six schools? All the six schools, yeah. It's the biggest one. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, you also have uh, students uh, who went to India last month and uh, China as well? Yeah, we had, I think, two to India. Uh, I'm not too sure about uh, China at this stage, but definitely some will be traveling to China.